International Olympic Committee has the honor to announce that the 27th Olympic Winter Games 2034 are awarded to Salt Lake City, Utah. The cry of victory. I was going like, please, 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 please. A full circle moment. I was in this same location in 1995 when they announced that we got. And the spirit of the games is still in Utah. It has been there for 24 years. I can feel the dreams starting right now with the kids in our, in our communities. Young athletes hopeful. And then I finally realized my Paralympic dream in 2022. So to be here and to be experiencing the, the confirmation of a home games coming to, to SLC in 2034, I mean, that's just an incredible thing to be a part of. I mean, we also have some young future Olympians who came here with us. We have three young athletes. It's really inspiring. Utah's gearing up to make history again. We're back, baby. The Olympics are coming back to Utah. Thank you. How can you not be romantic about the Olympics? We're taking a live look at the brightest legacy of the 20, 2002 Winter Olympics, standing tall over Rice Eccles Stadium at the University of Utah. That cauldron, Olympic cauldron, fired up early this morning after the city was awarded the 2034 Games and will continue to do so for the next 10 years as we prepare to host the world. And it is a proud moment for the Utah delegation in Paris, and they say this win is just the beginning. Obviously some concern expressed today, but a willingness to move forward, knowing that they trusted Utah, that our bid was flawless, that we were ready to go, and, uh, and that mattered more than anything else. We never took for granted that we would get these games, and what has come up in the last couple of weeks are legitimately serious concerns. I remember starting to write the script six months ago, and many people contributed to that, but we wanted to communicate to the IOC, we've got a wonderful technical plan, everybody knows knows that, but we wanted to communicate to people how we feel about the games. And the bad thing is it's 10 years away. The good thing is we get to enjoy it for 10 years and then we'll do it again sometime. I moved to Utah to really kick my career into high gear. The resources we have as athletes here, the training opportunities, you know, Park City being right up here too, is kind of a no brainer. We also spoke with Utah Senator Mitt Romney, one of the champions behind the success of the 2002 Games, who says that Utah has made its place in the country as the leader in winter sports. The greatest advantage we got from the Olympics was not just the roads and the construction that was done getting ready for the games, but instead the people that moved to Utah and brought with them the, uh, you will, that kind of Olympic determination, uh, which has so characterized the Olympic movement.